Normally when I'm joining blocks in the hoop, I add my batting and my backing at the same time. In this particular quilt, I'll be using the batting to help reinforce the eyes. When attaching your batting, center it between the two seam lines that were stitched in color break two. I've also added two pieces of medium weight tearaway stabilizer that will be removed after the eyes are embroidered. I've re-threaded my machine with embroidery thread and I'm ready to start stitching the eyes. In preparing the blocks, I applied several applications of non-aerosol spray starch. I did this to give more body to my fabric and help it be more resistant to puckering as we embroider the eyes on. We used two different fish eyes in this design. The first we used with our white fish and it is a large black eye rimmed in white. The second is a white eye with a large pupil in it. And we use that for the named fish, which would be red fish, blue fish, one fish, and two fish. As you work with the design, you'll need to advance to the correct color breaks. Color breaks are all identified in the instruction guide that accompanies this design. So make sure that you have the right color breaks selected when you start embroidering your eyes. Now we're going to stitch out one of the white fish eyes. I've changed my embroidery thread to white and I'm going to stitch out a defining border around the eye. It will be followed by a black outline. Now that the eye is finished, I'm going to remove the hoop from my machine and attach the back and come back and add quilting stitches.